San Francisco. A mecca of martial arts and home to several world-renowned training facilities. Today, we'll take you behind the scenes visiting Zong Lao's Dragon House MMA and City Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, exploring the minds of active combat sports fighters. We'll seek insight about what drives the lives of these fighters to find out what it takes. I am 20 years old. I'm very active. I'm in school. I work full-time and I go to school full-time and I train full-time. So I do a lot. Hi, my name is Michael Morel. I'm the head instructor of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu here at City Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I've competed nationally in Judo at national events uh, E-level. I've also competed internationally in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu US Open, as well as the Golden Gate Internationals, which I took first place at this year. Uh, I'm 37, so I've been doing this for 33 years, 34 years. And um, I start off as traditional Kung Fu, and I'm uh, moving up to Mongolian wrestling and uh, Chinese Sanzo kickboxing and uh, professional powerlifting, weightlifter. I'm no, I'm no show, I'm no show, bro. One of the biggest misconceptions that people have about combat sports in general is that they're for tough guys. They're for these guys who walk around with just all puffed out and they think they're hot shit all the time. But the thing is, is those guys come into the, our, our gym once. They come in, they talk about all these cool guys that they know or their favorite UFC fighters and start talking and trying to make me make subtle comparisons in my head between them and their favorite UFC fighter and trying to talk themselves up and then they roll. Then they go with a guy who maybe he's a registered nurse or you know he, he's, he's a nanny or something like that and uh, he goes out there and he's 60 pounds lighter than them and he just makes him look like a baby. You know, he's got all these big muscles that are for show but not doing anything because they don't have the technique yet. Simple words, say it every day, train hard, the fight will be easy. You're lazy, the fight's gonna be hard. When you're mentally prepared, you're gonna go inside the cage, showing 100% what you have. Mentally, I, but when I get to the week of the fight, I shut everybody out. I mean, I'm just totally zoned out. I take, I'm with my parents, I isolate myself from everybody. Uh, I don't even talk to them, like no girls, nothing, no sex, nothing, whatever. I'm just with my teammate here, in and out. I'm, I'm, I just completely shut everything out. Mental preparedness is extremely important when it comes to your actual competition. I have to go out there thinking, just falls to the wall, there's no way I'm losing this match. I come up with my game plan, I practice my game plan. I don't have no game plan really much, whatever, I just go in there and let my, let, let my instincts take over. When mentally not prepared right, the game plan will fall apart. It's guaranteed you're gonna bring into the cage with, you know, probably 30% of what you really have. It's weird, nature abhors a vacuum, so if you have a hole in your game, it's just gonna happen and everybody's gonna find it. I just try to let my, my skill do the talking and, and I just go in there and do my thing. I watch what kind of holds they have. I try to fill them all up, regardless they're bad on the ground, bad on stand up, or bad on the takedowns. So I try to work them out and then try to fill up all the holes and make a perfect game when they go into the octagon. My lifestyle as a competitor and as an instructor is completely, completely just centered around the idea of jiu-jitsu. I'm constantly learning, constantly coming up with new game plans for my students, coming up with new techniques for class, drills, games, little instruction things. You're pushing them hard, as hard as they physically can take. You gotta make sure every student trains here when they get into the cage, they have no doubt about themselves. If they put in hours and hours of regardless conditioning, drills, skills, and all the other circuit training, cross training, and mixed with all different partner trainings, if they put in that kind of amount of time and effort, most likely they feel good about themselves. And then plus my little sweet talk, yelling, scream next to their ears every single day, and you're gonna be prepared, you're gonna be ready for a battle. I get out there, I have one thing in my head, and that's just as soon as they say go, I'm implementing my game plan. I'm throwing that person, I'm choking that person. I'm doing what I plan to do and what I train to do. I think about killing a guy personally, but it's just, that's how I, that's my, how my mentality is. What motivates me is, is, my, is my team, my coach, and my family, and my personal interests. That's what motivates me the most. I think about everything I've been through. I think about my teammate. We're all pushing each other, and then it feels good when you have a coach behind you, a coach telling you what's up. 
A lot of the motivation that comes from martial arts has to come up from within. I make huge commitments to the martial arts and I've trained very, very hard, sometimes over 30 hours a week. It takes a lot of motivation, dedication, determination, and ambition. You got those four keys, you can go a far away with those. You have to set yourself a goal. And maybe they're small goals, maybe they're big goals, but there's something that you have to define and something that you have to say, I'm going to accomplish this, regardless of whatever, whatever else is going on in your life. Everybody wants to be champion, but they never want to put in the work. It's all about putting in the work, knowing who you train with, being smart, and basically taking care of yourself, mentally and physically. And you can also apply that to your life, your work, your school. It's, it, it just has a big wide perspective on everything else. Yeah, that's my last words. It'll take, a, it'll take a big toll, but it's definitely worth the time and the training. Any other questions, like my phone number or anything? <laughs>